Hi everyone, it's uh, John here from paintballgear.ca and uh, we're just going to do another unboxing, uh, not a gun this time, but a the uh, barrel kit. Uh, this is the Empire Super Freak Barrel Kit. Alright, uh, this one is actually pretty neat uh, since it kind of has some history, but I won't really get into that, but let's take a look. So let's open it up. here. Uh, I guess it's just to protect it from getting uh, moving in the box all the time so you don't ruin it. Uh, let's open that up carefully. And uh, yeah, wow. Didn't think it was going to be this colorful, but you know, hey, it's a nice little traveling kit when you just drop in your gear bag. Nothing's getting yet, you know, dented, scratched, or chipped. And it's all Velcro. Still covered, more velcro. And that was the barrel kit. Yeah, so let's take a look here. So it looks like you get one, two, three, four, four inserts plus one in the barrel back. That's really cool. And this is an aluminum barrel back. Uh, this one is fitted for an autococker. Uh, it is also available for uh, the A5 BT4 threading. So a lot of it's pretty much this is really adaptable. This one will fit. The autocopter will fit most, uh, pretty much most or all speedball guns to date. And yeah, and with the BT4 E5 threading, it's gonna fit in most tactical guns. Since I think everyone but Spider and Gog has adapted to that thread size. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Let's keep going. This one's the back. This is the 14 inch tip with the redesigned porting. Uh, this is what they used to call all American porting. This kind of corkscrews all the way down. But they actually put some additional porting at the back here. Uh, what it says, even on the box, is it kind of gives reduced amount of drag and also it helps um, disperse all the sound the gun actually makes when you shoot. So it's going to be a bit more quieter than standard other tips out there. And this is what a lot of people like is the Carbon fiber tip, it's extremely light. Uh, a lot of people will probably be just using this one instead of the aluminum, depending on what happens. And it has the same kind of porting on it, the corkscrew all American design, plus the additional ones in the back. But you know what's actually funny is that you, when you look down the holes, uh, those porting on the aluminum piece, but on the carbon fiber piece, there was no porting into the barrel. So, not too sure why they did that. Maybe they tried, but it didn't really work out. Oh well. And here's the cool one. It, it all, it's kind of the same aluminum back, but it actually has the apex barrel. I'm not too sure if anyone knows what the apex barrel does. It actually puts a backspin to the ball. And right here, this is kind of the, how much backspin you want to put for the farther you go in. The more severe it's going to be. And back it up. I'm not sure you can see that. You know, it's going to reduce it to all the way down. This one is really neat because once it's on the barrel, you can make it curve left, right. This one's all the way up. Oh, I think this is down. This is down, and you, you put it up. Uh, this would give a curve to the shot. What happens with that curve, it basically enough kind of like curves the shot where you want it exactly. It's going to take a bit of practice to get used to the whole curving effect, but once you get it down, a lot of people have really enjoy this barrel since there was no more really uh, no more that you can hide really so yeah that's really neat and here's the inserts right, so the inserts a lot of people might be asking what is the insert system. The insert system works like this. Every insert is a bit different in internal diameter. It's just for the fact that even though paintballs are quote unquote 68 caliber, it, they're all going to be at very various sizes, just off by hundreds or thousands of an inch or thousands of that measurement. And with that is that if, paint, if, if a paintball doesn't fit into a barrel correctly, you're not going to get that accurate of a shot. 
pretty much uh, with this is that, you know, before the beginning of the day, you take your barrel, you put it into a paint ball. Let me just show you with a reball. The reballs, you kind of want to go with the biggest one just in case since it's rubber. So you put it in the paint ball and just make sure it kind of rolls out. That one kind of rolled away all together. Trigger will find that. So basically enough, what you do in the beginning of the day, you take a paint ball and you fit it through. If it rolls out like that really fast, that's too big. So you kind of work your way down. So for that, 690. Yeah, 690. Oh, it still rolls out. So that means these two inserts are too large. Take the 685. 685, put that in, still rolls out. This is actually pretty small, I, I, I'm so actually surprised. Um, take that in, oh okay, see, so 680. This one kind of has a somewhat of a tight fit and what you do with that is to make sure it actually is a good fit because sometimes it can still be a bit too big. You put your mouth on this end and just lightly blow it out. Yeah, basically enough, if it's just snug and you put a little bit of pressure and it pops out, this is the perfect fit for this paintball or reball purchase, perchance. And this will give you the best accuracy and actually helps you on air efficiency. Because if there's too many, too many gaps around the paintball, air is going to escape through, which is going to give you bad accuracy. And if you need more pressure to paint, push a paintball, that means less shots you're going to get out of your full tank, which means more trips to the fill station and no one likes to make trips like that or run out of air in the game and that's probably the worst thing to happen. Alright, let me just show you how it goes in. So let's just go, okay, let's go this one since we fitted it. Put it back here and then in, slide it in. Uh, pretty much, it's not going to be that easy all the time. Some people have found that it's a bit tight. Uh, you just basically, you know, there's a couple things you can do. You can just kind of keep making it go in, uh, in and out. And it'll work the O-rings inside because how it's held together, I'm sure you can see, is with some O-rings inside there that kind of base enough gives it a perfect alignment to the gun. Right there. And it has a nice little open window so you can see what your sizing is. So you don't have to guess every time you put it in. Alright, let's put it together. Put the tip. And this is what the 14 inch carbon fiber tip. Right there, it gives you a nice seamless, seamless look. Really, it just looks good all together. And you can take that off. And oh, let's see, with the Apex barrel. I think the Apex is a 16 inch. Let me just check. It says back in the box. 17 inch barrel tip. So it gives you a nice long shot. Right there. This looks good. Once it's mounted again, you can just switch it over and adjust how much apex uh, curve you want. And here is a shot with the 14 inch aluminum basing up your general mill two piece barrel. But this is technically three piece with the insert attached. Alright, there you go. Alright, great. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And yeah, pick up this barrel kit if you want to start shooting really straight on the field and get that accuracy everyone's been looking for in paintball. Because yeah, if you don't have the right paint to bore match, you're not going to get that accurate shot and you're going to be wasting more air. Alright, thanks guys for watching.